But this is a little different. My top reasons for why I have been MIA. running after a full tune-up. It just sounds awesome and feels awesome. So first I just have to say a really big thank you to so many people who checked up on me, sent me like emails and posted stuff on my page asking if everything's okay. You know, it was pretty awful of me to not just post a notice and say, hey, just taking a bit of a break. You know, got a few things going on. So I do have to say, I'm very sorry if I worried anybody. And you know what? A huge thank you to those of you who checked out. That means more to me than I can ever express. So thank you, thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, so I guess I had better... Not that I like have to explain myself, but I think it's just kind of nice to maybe give a little bit of an update and maybe explain why I was kind of like MIA for so long. Because <laughs> it really it was like a few weeks, I think. So on that note, I guess, oh yeah, I better close that because I forgot my audio might sound shittier than it does if I have that open. Yes, why was I MIA for like, what was it, three weeks I think? It was quite a long time and definitely there was a few things going on where I just could not motor vlog but there was also just a need for a bit of a break away from YouTube and just some me time and so I'll give you a breakdown. I'll kind of like itemize why. So let's start. This is in no particular order. It's just kind of like all over the place, but uh, let's see number one. So why was I MIA number one? Uh, number one, I did not have a bike. <laughs> I guess, you know, that's kind of a good reason to not be motor vlogging if you don't have a bike. Uh, but I got, you know, I could have done other stuff, but that's gonna actually take me to my second point in a minute here. But why I did not have a bike was, okay, I didn't have a bike for like a week and a half, not the full three weeks, but what happened was I needed new tires. I mean, I knew I needed a new back tire. The front tire was definitely like on its way out but I really needed a back tire and I was just kind of hoping I was gonna actually wait because I figured I'd probably get a little bit more time off it as you know I was planning to upgrade my ride so I didn't really want to go fork out a bunch of cash for new rubbers which you know when you sell your bike you really don't get that kind of stuff back into it I feel better if I sell it to somebody and there's you know new tires that they're not going to be stupid and not replace the tires so I feel better about it but you know, tires are expensive, especially in Canada, where we like get raped for insurance and for everything else. But and our dollar is so shitty right now, the prices of things are even worse. But why I did not have my bike, I needed my tire, like I said, and the tire got really bad, so bad that I could not ride. And the reason that kind of happened was I had to do like a massive emergency stop, and I say massive emergency stop somebody like totally it's a good thing i was not tailgating and not and i was keeping a good following distance because some idiot stick went and did a massive cutoff to another vehicle that was in front so the vehicle in front had to like slam on their brakes and so i had to slam my brakes on 
and let me tell you ABS really shone through that day so I literally like took off I don't even know how much rubber <laughs> off my tire but if I needed a new tire before I really needed a new tire after that like I scrubbed off so much freaking rubber doing that stop that my tire like it literally went down <laughs> to, you know when it goes like past the treads and it goes into like the wiry I don't know what the hell it's called but it went down to that my front tire was still like semi doable and you know really I probably could have ridden on it but I do so much highway riding at higher speeds I just really wasn't into it and the weather was so rotten here lately it has been like pissing rain like you would not believe so I was not really keen on trying to ride around on a really shitty tire when we were having really horrible like massive like rain like it was just crappy so I just held back and I waited and sadly when we are getting work done on our bikes around here a lot of the time a lot of stuff needs to be ordered in so they ordered in my tires and they actually ordered me the wrong tire so that delayed things even longer and that's reason number one why I have been MIA <laughs> uh, let's go with another reason so reason number two that I'm MIA. I said it wasn't just, you know, I could have done more like stuff on YouTube aside from just riding my bike, but that takes me to reason number two that my damn Asus laptop was still freaking hooped. So a lot of you know that I brought it in, I had work done to it, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It worked for a little while and then it just started freezing up on me and just acting totally stupid again. So I took it back in again and so I was like decent lab top list for another over a week like almost two weeks so that was another reason for that and I did have my other laptop but cool bike but it's just so painful to try to edit on it so I just I didn't but yeah Alrighty, <laughs> I've got it back and now let's just hope that that is going to take care of the laptop issue and I will be good to go. Uh, reason number three, don't you just love these countdown lists? It's like the top five, <laughs> as so many of you detest. But this is a little different, my top reasons for why I have been MIA. Uh, reason number three was... I have some funky stuff going on with my shoulders and I don't have the greatest back in the world. Welcome to uh, nursing <laughs> for so many years and also being a paramedic and all that lovely stuff. Every job I've had has been like really physically demanding and it's taken a toll on me that way. It is what it is. I'm going to keep plugging away, keep up with my physio, my exercises, etc, etc. And it's all good. But yes, that was reason number three. I had to take a little bit of a break away from that. Uh, get that sorted out, heal up a little bit, etc, etc. It's all good now. Things are okay. Um, yes, reason number four. So reason number four, honestly, I just needed a break away from YouTube. That, I'm not going to lie. That's just... It was really good to take that break away though. It was for my own mental health and my own just kind of, you know what, focus on home, focus on my pup. You know, of course, focus on hubby. You always have to focus on your spouse, right? Um, but yeah, so that was good. It was definitely a well needed break. And also because work has just been, it's uh, next year will be better. I actually re uh, resigned part of the position that I've been doing for a while so I'm really gonna miss it but on the same note it's better this way I can just go back to my regular teaching load and I think that's gonna be a really uh, good thing for me you know constant I love teaching so I'm gonna just concentrate on that I love the other part of my job too but uh, it's okay it's good to take a break away for a little while and just do other stuff so I'm excited and I'm happy about it it's gonna be really good and I guess my other reason too is we actually we went away for a little bit and some of you might remember I had mentioned that I might be looking at getting a toy hauler uh, 
um, so we did. We actually bought a new to us toy hauler, so we had to go out of town for that. And on that note, on the way back, we got almost stuck in a forest fire, which was pretty wicked. Made it home safe and sound. That's my life update. Everything else is okay. I'm really looking forward to getting back into motovlogging. Sometimes it's just good to get away and just, you know, YouTube is not my life life. So it's a big part of my life. I've made a lot of really cool friendships, but it's definitely, that is a sneaky ass van. That was a cop in that van. It's like a piece of shit and it's a cop. That's hilarious. <laughs> I would have not thought that was a cop van. That's funny. But anyway, yes, that's my life update. It's all good. Thank you everybody for sticking around, sticking by me. And again, a huge thank you to those of you who checked in on me. It means a lot to me and I have really missed so many of you. And I'm really looking forward to getting back on the saddle and just having some fun. So take care everybody and we will talk to you later. GoPro, stop recording.